Hi everybody, this is Wayne Nuff from Biblical Chili. I'm here to share with you a Walk the Talk segment regarding the Bible and its relevancy today. The lesson I've prepared for you uh, was shared uh, with me by my father-in-law, Ron Emery. He's what we call in the family a relentless encourager. And I'm hoping that you get some encouragement from it today. And the big thing we're going to talk about is tools as well. We hope to give you tools uh, that will uh, help you in your Christian walk. Um, and don't mind my hands. I'm using them like crazy. And I'm a coach, so I'm probably going to repeat a lot. Um, you won't forget the things I'm going to tell you. Okay, the walk, uh, our Walk the Talk lesson is found today in the book of Psalms. It's in chapter 50, and it's verses 14 and 15. Okay, I'm going to share with you the first verse. And I want, I want you to look for a couple things there. I'm going to share them with you, but I want you to look at two things that you can pull out of there. Um, in verse 14, it says, Sacrifice, thank offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High. And the two things that I want you to get out of that that are basic fundamentals is this. We are called to be thankful. God wants us to be thankful. There are so many things throughout the day that we can thank God for. Um, one thing that I constantly remind myself is we can talk to God all day long. We can be thankful all day long as well. Thank Him for His providing for us, um, the roof over our heads, um, the jobs that we have. Well, some of us aren't working jobs. I'm not either, but I'm thankful for the job that I have that hopefully I'm going to go back to sometime soon. Um, I'm thankful for Him providing for me and my family. And that's, I mean, that's a big kicker. And my, my kids get to hear me talk about that all the time. Be thankful. Thank you, God, for the way you provide for us and the way you protect us. And the second thing is be a man or a woman of your word. Whatever you say, if you, if you say it, mean it, do it. Follow through, especially if it comes, it's something that you're doing for someone else. If you say you're going to do something for someone else, always follow through on that. God wants us to be people of our word. Keep, keep your word because God is. And that's God's an example to us because there's all kinds of promises throughout the Bible. And, and we hang on those promises. The one that pops into my head all the time is, He's never going to leave me nor forsake me, even if I'm in trouble times. Which leads us to the next verse. Uh, verse 15 says, And call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. Um, the big word that I want you to get from this verse is trust. We need to trust him. He wants us to trust him. He wants us to believe that he's going to take care of us. And, and he will take care of us. And here's a big thing that I can share with you. Everybody wants instant gratification. It doesn't always work that way. Trust means that you're trusting that God's eventually going to take care of this in his way and in his timing. And he will do that. And then we'll refer back to number one, be thankful once again. And we'll praise his name for that. We praise him through our thankfulness. Um, he wants us to rely on him. He wants us to trust him. He loves us and he wants to take care of us. Um, so with this short blast of uh, tools that I'm giving you, I just want to refer back. Um, let's just... Take three relevant, the, the, the three relevant things into our daily walk. These are walk the talk things. Okay, we're going to walk what we talk. We're going to be thankful. We're going to show him that we're thankful. And by us being thankful, other people are going to see that. We're going to be an example to other people. We can thank him through these troubled times that we're in right now. Because he wants us to. He wants us to do that. Be true to your word. If someone is in need, go help them. Don't just say the words. Do the words. Walk the talk and trust him. These are the three things. Be thankful. Be true to your word and trust him. This was a blast for me to do. This is my first time doing this. And I look forward to doing it again. Um, tune in Thursday night, 7 o'clock, live on Facebook. You'll see Biblical Chili. You'll see all of us again. Um talking about the Bible. And don't be afraid to share with us that night uh, because we want to learn too. We want to be with you. Um, so Wayne Nutt, 
Biblical Chili, walk the talk. Three things, remember them again. Thankful, be true to your word, and trust him. We'll talk to you soon. We love you. Bye now.